the back is a little more about the American solar eclipse of the 25th of August, 2017. Yeah, I said that we have reached a point in time where the devil has almost won. Europe is being flooded with circumcised young men fooled by the Jewish Quran to ignore what Muhammad said, removing his love for Jesus, as well as two important letters that he wrote concerning Jesus to the monks at St. Catherine's, proclaiming he would fight for the welfare of the Christians and to the various leaders of Arabian nations saying Jesus was the soul of God, conceived by the Holy Ghost. Today it's all totally kept secret from Muslims. The Jews now have a problem, the sudden conversion to the words of Pope Benedict XVI, written within his apostolic letter he called in Christian Credent on the internet in 27 languages. Now by pinpointing precisely the ovum of the earth for defects, so to speak, the distance to the moon at any moment leaves a trail of markers we can read with modern astronomy. In the Holy Bible, it is actually a book compiled by Satan. It's been called holy only by men. And, of course, men are the adversary, which is what Satan means. Satan means the adversary of God. Well, that's, that's, that's men. And in particular, a race of men who were the scribes. And in that we call them the Jews. They call themselves Jews, and they're not. So, being what it is, it's a book compiled by Satan. However, there is revealed to be a hidden tapestry of perfection in the numbers of the words. The language, numbers are the language of the universe. So the Bible, along with the James Strong Concordance, listing all of the words within the Bible as numbers. The Bible itself was arranged by the 17th Earl of Oxley. He was the man responsible for having Elizabeth I repent of the beheading of her cousin Mary, Queen of Scots. So she had to repent by nominating James VI, the King of Scotland, who became James I of England, who was a man hated by the English, who took charge. He was now in a position to order and to authorise the 1611 King James translation. The homosexual Francis Bacon the homosexual Francis Bacon organised men of his choosing to translate the Bible. Presented to the king, he said he wanted to read it before authorising it. Eighteen months later, he was ready to authorise it. In that time, he had Edward de Vere review it, altering the rough manuscript that had been handed to him manuscript being handwritten, that's what it means. However, it enabled him to edit into Shakespearean English, since he, that is Edward de Vere, was the playwright William Shakespeare. The entire Bible reflects his work, identical in style to his plays, etc. So it was finished. Satan's team had been outmaneuvered. James himself believed the Great Pyramid was the work of angels containing the identity of the Christ in the end of time. The Bible ended up with 31,101 verses and is the Julian Day number I was reborn on. The Julian Day number 2,431,101 and 11.01 is the 11th of January 1944 in Australia where Yah was reborn, we write the day of the month before the month. So it's written as 11.01.1944. So now it was set. Religious lunacy followed, forming into 36,000 denominations of total insanity. The Almighty is far too advanced in thought that asking the question, why does God allow the Jews to do such evil? The answer is simple. To identify, via free will, 
the evil that occurred in groups of men who are so stupid to think they have God defeated. On December the 11th, 2011, the solar system, travelling at 69,000 kilometres per hour, crossed the equator of the Milky Way galaxy, it being 100,000 light years wide. The greatest yet ignored moment in modern astronomy. We had solar eclipses on January the 1st, 2011, June the 1st, 2011, in the Northern Hemisphere, and then the next month, another on July the 7th, 2011, in the Southern Hemisphere, and then another on November the 25th, 2011. So why? Well, we were approaching the equator of the Milky Way galaxy. Then on December the 11th, 2011, we crossed into the magnetic field between the south and north of the galaxy. Water reversed draining out of the sink. Clouds turned in the opposite direction. Weather was out of sync. The Jews, knowing I had predicted it, added to the confusion, blaming the Earth's temperature rise on carbon emissions, a money-generating con. In reality, the temperature was dropping for decades, but dominating the media and universities, no problem. The masses are stupid. I, on the other hand, simply point out facts, translate Satan's Bible, and how verses are true if the numbers are confirmed via the concordance, James strong concordance. In Revelation, the word man is numbered 444, quoting, Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, there's a 444, and his number is 603, 4, and 6. That's the end of the quote, it's Revelation 13:18, and so the man is Solomon. We then set the distance to the moon, so the distance, the distance from the earth to the moon, with as many fours in it, and we end up with 404,444.44 kilometres, which happens to be at a moment in time on August the 3rd. 2017, so it's already occurred, when the moon was under the Great Pyramid. We then have the 444 man of Revelation 13:18 of Solomon, that can only be revealed by the eclipse. That is the last in the rejected capstone prophecy. So now we're talking about August the 21st, 2017. November the 14th, 2012, so we are now, by this time, two solar eclipses into the north side of the galaxy. And that was 48.4 weeks after the crossing over on December 11th, 2011. However, 484, we have the pyramid number, since the pyramid in feet measures 484.89 feet. That's the pyramid with the capstone in place. So here are the distances measuring from August the 3rd, 2017, the moon position in miles. Now we're, we're measuring to the coming eclipse of August the 21st. In, in miles and nautical miles, in miles it's 8374 and nautical miles 7271 to the longest duration eclipse of August 21st, 2017 at Hopkinsville, Kentucky. The moon position, August the 3rd, 2017, is under the altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt, which is the Great Pyramid. So the time that was set, UTC time, 7.07.15 p.m. And there we have the numbers. Seven two seven one means feet or foot. 
is in the Hebrew concordance, from 7272, meaning footstool. H374 is loathing or abhor in the Hebrew concordance. How far is the moon location on that gate to the pyramid? 5,455 kilometres. Again, it is the pyramid height in inches up to the rejected capstone or the summit platform. And just as a guide, Yah has two new footstools this week in the house. It <laughs> came with <laughs> came with used furniture from other people. Now the moon distance from the Earth when it was 404,444.44 kilometres for that instant in time, which already occurred August the 3rd, 2017, it measures 8,224 nautical miles when measuring to this time Yellowstone. And that number in the Hebrew concordance means fruitful. Remember these numbers are from all about Yah and his revelation. And so it is Yah that has been fruitful in his task, which is to try to get through to a devoured and dumbed down mankind that has been cracked by the uh, Satan's work of the Bible. Remember, it's all in the numbers, the number of values of words, verses, chapters and verses, and the repetition, synchronicity of numbers. The James Strong concordance again, the numbers revealing the truth of the numbers when we are measured. So we then measure from the 444 moon to the 25 degree latitude of the solar eclipse, August 21st, 2017. And the result is 11,165.7 kilometres. So we're looking at two sacred numbers, my birthday, 111 or 111, depending which country you're in, and Lord, New Testament, total of verses that contain the word Lord and just happens to be in the nucleus fusion rate of the sun conversion 657 million tons of hydrogen per second into 652.5 million tons per second of helium it has to be so as the astronomy and Magellan GPS measures are absolute since they are pinpoint accuracy. Google Earth has been proven over and over it is not pinpoint accuracy and they will go to the bother of changing the database once Yar uploads information with his methods. We have uh, proved that over and over. So breaks down to this, quoting the New Jerusalem coming down from heaven, the abode of the blessed in heaven, will become the visible capital on earth in the heavenly kingdom after the renovation of the world by fire. And that is number 4442. The fire is the word of God. It is not the eruption of Yellowstone. The end time earthquakes and volcano prophecy is over. The earth magma was being disturbed by the spinning earth being influenced to change direction. Therefore, once we moved north of the Milky Way equator, the magma was pulled from the south and the moon in the days leading up to the August 21st, 2017 eclipse has been pulling the magma from below the Earth equator and moving northward to the eclipse position. Now measuring from the Sun at the moment of the 404444 kilometre moon position, set the Sun position to August the 21st, 2017, and the distance is 2284.2 nautical miles. In the Greek concordance, 2284 means to be astonished, to be amazed, to be frightened. 
and all evil thrust through, always angry, always of God. And this is what the enemy, Satan, the Jews who call themselves Jews and the not that are the synagogue of Satan, that has influenced man, all of mankind become the adversary of God. They're always angry and it's directed towards God. Again, this is now the sun position at that moment of time. The 4044 moon position to Yellowstone. It is 3057.9 kilometers and in Greek 3057 means the iron point of a spear and in Hebrew it is Jewess. So it's the iron point of a spear taking out the influence of the Hebrew Jewess. Remember, all souls are female. Scribes, everybody on the planet has a female soul. But Yara is the alpha male, the father, the one and only father. The creation is a female soul. So the moon 444 date on August the 3rd, 2017 is directly under the Great Pyramid, slightly east. So how far to the Great Pyramid itself, which is the altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt? How far in miles? 3,391 miles. And <laughs> in the Hebrew concordance is the number for moon, month, lunar cycle. A month, a calendar month. And in Greek, it is a certain someone or a certain man. And of course, that certain man is Jesus. And we are back to the beginning. Those of you who know Yah's struggle, if you like, or revelation began, <laughs> thinking about my camp, my battle, my struggle, um, began with his being so irritated with that word certain and the revelation began with him manually going through his fingers underneath every word of the entire Bible to pull out all of the verses that contained the word certain and there were 194 of them that began the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ but of course it's Yah, I mean he can do it, only Yah has been able to find the code within the book put together by Satan because Yah is Almighty God, so part of a memory for him. Once more the moon position on that day to the altar to the Lord in kilometres 5455 Again, it's the height in inches to my rejection. So to the summit platform, the rejected capstone being too big to fit, which is what the, uh, the world finds Yah and his measuring of his creation to reveal himself within it. It's just too big for people to handle and so they reject. So here we are to the summit platform. 5455 is 454.58333 feet. To explain the gravity of the galaxy is pulling on the Earth molten iron core. As the Earth falls northward, it's, it's it's hard for me to get my head around to think of it as the Earth falling northward. I, I say travelling northward because we're moving away from the centre um, of the, the galaxy. So we're moving northward. However, the gravity of the galaxy pulls the magma of Yellowstone, because the, the focus is on Yellowstone, towards the Earth's equator. So it's Yellowstone being in the north, the iron, molten iron core 
is being pulled by the gravity of the galaxy now underneath it. It's now pulling it down towards the Earth equator, which is causing the circumference of the Earth to bulge. The Earth says the magma will remain in this location permanently. Prior to the greatest pull, um, so what we're saying is prior to, to this event, the greatest pull occurred on Iceland was April the 14th, 2010, causing it to erupt, Iceland being in the far north of the Earth. Then once, now at that point in time, of course, we're being pulled towards the centre of the galaxy by the gravity of the galaxy. So with the, we're underneath, we're on the south side, but we're being pulled toward the uh, gravitational pull of the galaxy. So the pressure on the molten core then, uh, Iceland, it caused it to erupt. Then once we crossed the Milky Way galaxy equator, the pull was on the south side. It became the pull on now the south side as we're moving away from the centre of the galaxy. 63.6 Oh, so the, the 63.6 latitude north. Wow, and these are our Zion number. That's the um, latitude of the volcano. There's much more I have to talk about then. Yes, yeah, there is. And I won't try to pronounce the name of it. <laughs> mm. Many have tried, and those who live in Iceland can do it. But, uh, Anyway, so what's the difference in time from August the 21st, 2017 back to the 14th of April 2010? Well, it just happens to be 7.535 years. And of course, that is the Shroud of Turin area. So here we have the... Earth moving northward, we're now above the equatorial line, we're back in the north side of the Milky Way galaxy. And the distance in time measuring backwards from the August 21st, 2017, back to the 14th of April, 2010, when the volcano in Iceland erupted, grounding jets due to ash ejection, by synchronicity, the shroud of Turin. It is 7.353 years back in time. 7,353 square inches is the area of the Shroud of Turin. You can see in this diagram uh, where Yah has labelled the Earth, it's just a tiny pinpoint in comparison. Uh, the but it does, Yah is showing you the position of the Earth within the galaxy, the width of the galaxy being 100,000 light years wide. And the bulge in the centre of the galaxy is only 3,000 light years thick. So it's 3% of the width of the galaxy. So it's, it's really small in comparison to the width of the galaxy. However, 3,000 light years thick times the pi number is 9,424.777 and is the Lord number of verses. It's actually the number of verses in the New Testament, King James 1611, that contain the name Jesus. Again, 7.353 years from August 21st, 2017, back to the eruption of the volcano in Iceland, 14th April 2010. It's all about the shroud of Turin, the galaxy. It's the, was it, the, it was the Polish physicist, wasn't it? Um, what's her, her name, the woman? Uh, Pasek? Pasek, the woman. Mm. And she described the resurrection leaving the image on the Shroud of Turin as a singularity sure. in all time. And time was reset at the resurrection, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you would expect it to be reflected in the 
measure of the galaxy. Mm. That's what it's all about. Hope is all about. On the left, the image of the shroud of Turin. On the right, the art image that I took. Appropriately, at Hergada by the Red Sea, with the shroud of Turin overlay. It is the Jordan Codex, the image of Jesus in the Jordanian Codex, on the, and it point. is overlaid on the painting that Yah did of himself as the man in the golden helmet, December the 18th, 1977. This is what Pope Benedict received one of the images that Pope Benedict received. Again, this is the image of Yah. I believe it was taken in May 2010. We were at Harcourt recording that day mm. when uh, Shakespeare in the USA, we called him Shakespeare in the USA, took a screenshot of Yah, and then he was the first one to overlay the Shroud of Turin on Yah's image. The Pope Benedict received this and then in the four different languages it says the Lord Jesus Christ is back. Brian Lenny Golightly Marshall is the image of the Shroud of Turin and appropriately Pope Benedict worshipped the Shroud of Turin. He would stand in front of it for hours and it was a very dear icon for him. And so when he received not only this photograph, but uh, photographs that Sherry had compared to the Shroud, he was stunned. And immediately, in spite of his resistance before uh, receiving these photographs, he immediately demanded to speak to Yah. It just happened to be 3.16 on the morning of March 11th, 2013, and we were sound asleep. So he had to wait, which he did, <laughs> sitting up in bed just waiting for the emails to come in. And then it all started historically. It was around, it was sometime after 11 o'clock on March 11, 2013. The communication thing between Pope Benedict XVI began with his Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, that he announced that returned in the person of Brian Yannick Lartley Marshall. So he resurrected, returned, and rejected the Lord God himself. 